through the butler's pantry. All right, so we can talk about it here a little bit and what's in here. So basically what I wanted in this butler's pantry was to have a place to store my china. And it accomplishes it very well. Um, I can hold six sets on this side, three along the top, and three along the bottom. I also have plenty of counter space, and something nice to have in a butler's pantry is uh, on the counters some wall outlets, because then you can have hot plates in here when you're serving, and people can actually serve through the butler's pantry, or you can serve people by using the butler's pantry. On this side, same idea. Again, we have plugs, and then we have the sink, and another plug is behind that uh, picture there. There's my uh, great-grandparents china. Actually on this side both of their patterns. They were the ones who also had the uh, Miss America in pink. Down below on this side there are not the glass doors because the center one has the plumbing for the sink, obviously. But the other two have more china. This one has blue willow, as well as it holds my table linens. The other cupboard already started packing some of the things in it, but it is Denmark. I really like the pocket door hardware. There's the strike plate. On this side you have a little button you push. Handle pops out. You can pull the door closed. This comes out with the key to latch into the strike plate there. I had a beautiful two gas, two electric chandelier that I restored hanging here, but um, I uh, didn't want to leave it with the house. So uh, this is a, a modern fixture. So that is the butler's pantry. Hope you enjoyed the tour.